That's okay. a that's a later tradition. Okay. So, so that what I'm saying is you're talking about people coming under a covenant, but then what I'm hearing is you have to become a traditional Jew and submit to the authority of the rabbis, but the authority of the rabbis is not based on scripture. So reiterating what appears in Deuteronomy chapter seventeen is Second Chronicles chapter nineteen, verse eight. And it pretty much repeats Deuteronomy chapter 17, word for word. And here it says, And whensoever any controversy shall come to you from your brethren that dwell in the cities between blood and blood, right? That we read that before. And then it says, Between law and commandment, statutes and ordinances. In other words, between the commandments and the Torah, how do we keep these laws? There had to be a ruling body. Now, yes, there's a gross misrepresentation of oral law today in Jewish life, okay? Because they make no distinction between Torah law and rabbinic law. We have a principle in Judaism, Suffolk de Rabbanon Lehakel, that if there is a question on a rabbinic law, we're commanded to be lenient. But Suffolk de Raita Lehumra, if there's a question on a Torah law, we're commanded to be strict. Right, right. The rabbis of the Talmud went out of their way to make a distinction between rabbinic law and Torah law. 